You've probably seen those crazy AI videos that look like they were made for a movie trailer. That's Google VO3. It's Google's newest and most powerful AI video tool. And right now, it's creating some of the best AI visuals on the internet. And in this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to use it. Without needing to be an AI expert or doing some fancy editing, all you need is one well-structured prompt, and I'll walk you through exactly how to write it step by step. Let's get into it. So to start, we are going to be walking through the text to video feature. That means we're making a video entirely based on text. For this walkthrough, I'm actually using OpenArt to access video. If you want to follow along, I'll leave a link in the description. Once you open OpenArt, you'll see a panel on the left hand side with a list of features. Click on videos, it might even have a small new tag next to it. This will take you to the main prompt window where you can start creating your video. One of the reasons VO3 stands out is because it was designed specifically for cinematic realism. Unlike older models, it can handle motion physics, camera simulation, and even frame lighting changes that match your prompt. It's built for creators who want something that feels like film, not just AI generated movement. On the left, you'll see two tabs, text and image for now will stay in the text tab. Under that tab, you'll see an option called select model. Click this dropdown and choose VO3. Make sure this is selected so you're generating content with the right model and not wasting time using something else. Once that's selected, you'll see a prompt box where you can paste your text prompt. Google VO is especially strong when it comes to text to video generation. Compared to image to video, the outputs tend to look more dynamic, detailed, and realistic, especially when your prompt is well written. That's why we're starting with text to video. Here's a simple way to structure your prompt. First, describe the surroundings, such as the room or the nature. Next, describe what's happening leading up to the main action in the video. Then, describe the action itself. For example, if your idea is about a neon motorcyclist in a high-speed chase, make sure to detail the environment, the mood, and the camera perspective. The more specific you are, the better the result. VEO doesn't just guess, it breaks down your language into visual components like light direction, movement timing, and spatial geometry. So when you're vague, the system fills in those gaps randomly. But when you're specific, you're essentially directing a full scene like a filmmaker. The difference in quality is massive. If you're unsure how to write a solid prompt, I've created a simple prompt template you can use with ChatGPT. Just insert your idea into the field and it'll output a well-structured version ready for VO. For this demo, I decided to go with a lighthearted street interview between a human and an alien tourist who came to visit Earth. A casual street interview on a sunny day in the middle of a busy city sidewalk. People walk by in the background. The interviewer is holding a mic and talking to a tall humanoid alien wearing a tracksuit and sunglasses. The camera starts with a medium shot facing both the interviewer and the alien. Interviewer, so where are you from? Alien, calm with a slight pause. I come from the Zarnok Nebula, just visiting. Interviewer laughing, why Earth? Alien, I heard about tacos, cut between close-ups of their faces during the conversation. Some light reactions from people in the background. The whole vibe is casual and funny, like a viral clip someone might post online. Keep the lighting natural and the atmosphere lighthearted. Once your prompt is ready, paste it into the prompt box in OpenArt and keep Auto Enhance turned on. Think Auto Enhance just adds fluff? It actually helps your prompt perform better. It reweights the internal variables to increase clarity in character, camera, and action. It acts like an editor on top of your direction, helping fix fuzzy phrasing into optimized instructions that VO understands better. It will refine your prompt and help generate a much higher quality video. Then just click create. It usually takes around three minutes to process because of the complexity of the AI. Once it's done, let's take a look at the video we got. So, so where are you from? I come from the Zarnok Nebula, just visiting. Why Earth? I heard about tacos. The alien looks really good. He's got the red tracksuit. The lip sync is surprisingly accurate for both characters. And even though the alien doesn't have a typical human face structure, his expressions and features stay consistent the whole way through. The background crowd is also very well made. No one's morphing or glitching out. And it actually feels like a real street scene. But what really stands out here is how naturally the conversation flows. The timing and reactions sound very realistic. For something that only took a few minutes to create, this is a super polished result. But what if you already have a specific character or something you want to see brought to life exactly as it is? You can do that using image to video. Let me show you how. If you're still in the text to video tab, look at the top left corner. You'll see an icon for image. Click that and it will switch you over to the image to video interface. 
Right below where you selected image, there's a drop down to choose your model. Again, make sure to select VO3 so you're using the correct version. This is important to double check. Now, instead of a prompt box like before, you'll see a drag and drop area where you can upload your image. For this example, I'm gonna use an image of a cozy cabin in the snow. Once you load the image in, the prompt box will appear. Just like before, I'm gonna use the prompt that ChatGPT generated for me. Animate this still image into a cinematic nighttime scene. The camera begins with a slow push in toward the glowing cabin from a snowy ridge, snow gently falling in the foreground. A subtle breeze moves tree branches and blows light powdery snow across the ground. The stars above slowly shift and a faint green aurora pulses behind the mountain peaks. Soft flickering light from inside the cabin suggests someone recently lit a fire. Ambient mountain wind and the faint crackle of the fire add life to the atmosphere. Camera, slow dolly in, 24 frames per second. Resolution, 4K cinematic widescreen, 2.35 to 1. Lighting, soft moonlight plus warm interior cabin glow. Lens, 50 millimeters for intimate focus, shallow depth of field. Mood, calm, introspective, peaceful. Color palette, cold blues and whites contrasted with warm amber from the cabin. VFX, light snow particles, animated sky, gentle ambient motion. One thing to note here, unlike text to video, there is no auto enhance options in this mode. So it's really important that your prompt is as clear and specific as possible. Since there's no enhancement layer here, your words have to do all the heavy lifting. Every visual element, movement, lighting shift, and camera angle must be described manually. That's why using a well-built template saves you a ton of trial and error. If you're using the template I mentioned earlier from ChatGPT, that should make it easier to write a solid prompt. At this point, there's nothing else to configure. Just click create video and wait for the result. And the result looks really nice. You can see lighting coming from inside the cabin and overall, everything looks very realistic. There's even a northern light effect visible in the background, which adds a nice touch. The cabin itself looks exactly like the original image. The way the light hits the snow coming from the cabin also looks really good. Overall, this is a very strong result. So now you actually know how to create those VO style videos you've been seeing all over your feed. And with open art, you can do it all in just a few clicks. If you want to start creating videos like this yourself, just click the link in the description to access open art.